What's happening everybody and welcome to the Royal Kennels YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about breeding dogs without papers or the possibility of registering your dogs without that pre-registration form or without the parents being registered as well. Come on Hazel. I guarantee you don't want to miss it. You want to get up? Come on girl get up. Yeah beautiful. y'all right, just like i promised y'all this is a highly 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 asked question um people always ask us should they breed their dog if they don't have papers and if they do not have papers how can they register them what registry to use um is it even possible um a lot of people don't know and and y'all i try to keep i try to keep things as professional as possible you guys know we do not over here breed without papers but i have to i have to be honest i have to think back of where i first started when i first got my um my first passion for dogs and dog breeding when i first thought about you know trying to make a difference in the dog breeding world we all know that being a dog breeder is not the um is not the most desired thing in the world and whenever you look back of like certain age, like back when I was like 14 and 15, when I first got into the dog movement, y'all, I'm 43 years old now. But when I was 14, I'm going to tell y'all a story before I actually get into that. I know you guys like whenever I tell stories, but I remember I had a, a female um, American pit bull terrier named Missy. Y'all, Missy was a beautiful dog. She had great structure. She had great muscle. Um, I mean, absolute beautiful. And they had a breeder that was um, in the a local area to me where I grew up. And he had some of the best dogs. So I was like, you know what? The only shots miss is the ones that you don't take. So I went knock on the door. I was like, hey, how you doing, man? Um, I have a, a female uh, American Pit Bull Terrier. You have some beautiful dogs. I want to breed my dog with one of your males so he was like let me see her so i pulled her out of the car and he was like wow she's beautiful what is she registered and i was like man she's not registered and bro this dude's response to me was he did not breed his dogs to trash and i ain't gonna lie as a 15 16 year old kid he hurt my feelings and back then there was a lot of repercussions to hurt my feelings and i'm not gonna tell y'all how the story went maybe another time but he literally told me that he would not breed his dogs to trash today at 43 years old i keep an open mind to that and i'm like you know what maybe if that guy would have gave me a chance and either worked out something to where I can either afford one of his dogs with papers. <laughs> Yo, she's crazy. Or did the breeding with me, made a stipulation to where I would have sold all the puppies as pet home only dogs, made me a few dollars and purchased a dog with papers. So my humble, professional, caring, loving temperament today says that if you don't have papers on your female and you are trying to get into the bully movement and you are trying to get your feet wet, you are trying to get litter experience, you are trying to uh, see if this is truly a passion that you have 
or if it's just something that you know is popular right now and you're trying to get into the wave. You know, there's a lot of different uh, scenarios. But me, I would try to see where you're at. And if I feel that you got passion for dog breeding, that you truly want to make a difference you truly understand the levels to it and how serious and the role of a dog breeder how important that role is then my professional advice to you would be get with the stud owner write up a contract stating that you'll pet home all the puppies because they're not breeding stock Sell them, make you a little money, and invest every dollar that you make into a breedable dog or a registered dog. But without that contract, it's not the right thing to do. If you're selling these dogs as breed quality, then you're wrong. That is not the right thing to do. And me, as the person that I am in the movement, if I say that's okay, then I'm wrong. So I do try my best not to forget where I come from and try to make these videos that reach every everybody because I'm an educator, y'all. I'm an educator. When it comes down to these videos, these videos are educational and motivation posts only. All right? So if I'm just sitting in here, if I'm just sitting here, I'm showing my dogs, I'm balling, I'm living life, I'm doing everything, I'm living my dream, and I don't give you guys the game, then I ain't worth nothing. There's no value in that. If I'm a nobody and I finally get one dog that's half decent, now I'm on the internet, I'm in there clowning and I'm, you know, um, downing people. That doesn't make me, that doesn't make me anybody, you know. And if those of you who knew me before this, I've been somebody. Like, I've been on top. I've always been on top. Even when I was in the penitentiary, I was on top. And there's a lot of people that can vouch for that about me. I ain't, I ain't just started this or I ain't became somebody when I got the dogs. The dogs ain't made me. I made the dogs 100%. And I ain't bragging. I'm just keeping it real. So I try to remain humble. I try to think about where I was and... If somebody would have gave me that type of opportunity to give me the game in the beginning instead of just dissing me, where would I be at today? You guys think you guys think I'm ahead of the game, but just imagine if I wouldn't have went to the penitentiary for over 10 years. You know, just imagine if I would have kept that same energy from a 14, 15, 16 year old boy and stayed into the dog movement that long where we would be at today so i'm gonna i'm gonna final i'm gonna finalize and i'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of give a summary on that topic and then we're gonna get to um the registration part so i would say if you have a female with no papers all right draw up a contract Get with your stud owner, whether he got papers or not. Get with your stud owner and say, hey, let's drop a contract together. We're going to state that my puppies are going to be sold pet home only. No one is going to have any breeding rights to these dogs. We're going to do this breeding. I'm going to sell the puppies and then I'm going to take this money and I'm going to invest into a paper dog and move forward from there. So that would be the only professional advice I can give you upon breeding without papers. I'm not going to say don't do it because if I was in your shoes, if just say I was young or if I was old and my budget or my love for dogs got me a dog that's not fixed without papers, I can't tell you what I would do in a certain situation of my life. I might not do that now. Because I have over 50 dogs that's paper. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that now. But 10 years ago, I may have. When I first got my first dog, I didn't care if it was a breeding dog or not. I wanted a companion. All right? So now, if you have a dog that's not registered and you breed it, can you register the litter? Or can you register a dog without the proper lineage? 
The answer is no. Yes, there are made up registries. There are people who have made their own registries once they were put out of the mother registry. You know, we have an American bully. The American Bully Kennel Club is the mother registry. Yes, the UKC were registering them um, before the ABKC and they were registering them as American Pit Bull Terriers. The ABKC came along. Now the UKC are, are now deciding that they'll register your dog as American Bully. But the mother registry is the, um, the um, American Bully Kennel Club, the ABKC. Um, I'm not a sponsor for the ABKC. I'm not an ambassador. I don't go to the shows. I don't participate. I don't judge. I don't do anything for the ABKC. Me and Dave Wilson has never had a conversation and I've never felt that I needed one. You know, and most of the time that I reach, most of the time that I communicate with people at the top of the registry is whenever they reach out to me. I don't reach out to anybody and say, hey, bro, I've been a fan of the ABKC for 20 years. Um, I would really love to meet you. I don't do that. That ain't my style. You know, if I want something, I do it. I do it alone. That's how I roll. I don't have no groups except for my team. We got New Jersey and we got Texas. That's my team. And whenever I'm with my team, y'all, I do everything in my power to make sure that my team is on the same level as me and we run this thing right. If I see you lacking, I'll let you know where you're lacking at. No friend, no friends hold me back from keeping it real or none of that. I'm very strict on how we run Royal Kennels, whether it's Royal Kennels, New Jersey or Royal Kennels, Texas. And both of our other teams are legit. These are loyal people that's been down with us for years. All right. Now, there are outside registries outside of the ABKC that I have no clue about because I only deal with the ABKC. I don't know what the ABR accepts. I do know that they accept dogs that the ABKC don't. Um, so maybe they'll register your dog. I truly don't know. But the ABR is another registry. The USBR. Um, whenever the ABKC uh, banned Dex, to my knowledge, Ed Shepard and his team, rest in peace, Ed Shepard. I mean, he was a great. He was a great. Uh, I've never talked to him. Never tried to talk to him. But I give respect where it's due. Um, he was a great. I believe that he started the USBR registry after Dax was put out of the ABKC. Why Dax was put out ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't know. I don't get into the political standpoints of the breed. I just rock with them. For my dogs, it's the mother of all registries. That's how I see it. Whatever the registry allows is what I allow. Straight up. If the registry says no, then it's no. I don't jump from one registry to the other because it doesn't fit my um, opinion or if it doesn't fit my style. I don't do that. Once I rock with something, that's a wrap. You know, um, the ABR, the USBR, um, the IBR, uh, BBCR or uh, something. Um, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of registries. But I can say that I'm almost 100% sure if you don't have papers on your dog, you can't even go to those registries and register your dog. And I'll be honest and say you shouldn't. If you don't have a background stating what your dog is, then you shouldn't register it straight up because it gives a false sense of, um, of everything. It's, it's, you don't, you don't know who the parents are. And if you do know who the parents are, you don't know who their parents are. And if you do know who their parents are, you don't know who their parents are. And it's, and it's very important in breeding to know well, who the parents are. So that's my video today. That's to answer the questions. I've gotten that question a lot. Can you register a dog that doesn't have papers? Or should you breed a dog that doesn't have papers? Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you guys are loving the videos. If you have a topic that you want me to talk about, 
put it in the comment section. That's how we're going to keep this thing rolling. You might see this scenery a lot. You might see a dog running around. Hazel is my baby, man. Hazel's cool. Come see Hazel. Come here. Come here. Hazel can just run around in the heat unlike my other dogs. Come on. Jump up. Come on. Jump up. Yo, that my girl. <laughs> Hazel is a pocket princess, y'all. She's about freaking 13, 14 inches tall. About 55, 60 pounds. She's got a great rear end. I love her. I love her. She's very mobile. She can run around the yard. Go, go, go play then. We love y'all. Have a great day and God bless y'all. Hey, come on, jump up so they can see you, girl. Oh, you want to sit down by daddy? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you love when daddy do that. Oh, you love it when daddy do that.